Chapter 2 Connections and Joint Detailing Steel structures is a type of industrialized building system. Its structural elements, such as the beam and columns, are normally prefabricated in the factory before being transported to the site for installations. On site, the structural elements are assembled together and the joint between the structural elements are connected by a device which is known as the connections. A connection is playing an important role in the steel structures as it governs the structural integrity of the entire frame system. For that, it should be properly designed to ensure the safety of the structure. The connections are the device which are used to join elements of the structures together at a point, such as the force can be freely transferred between them. There are several types of connections, which are the welded connections, eccentric bucket connections, and bolted connection. These connections differ with each other in terms of the mechanism or transferring the load, the methods of installations, and also their structural behavior. These are typical beam to column joints, namely the simple joint, which is also known as the pin joint, semi-continuous joint, which is also known as semi-rigid joint, and rigid joint. These three types of joint differ with each other in terms of the rigidity and the moment resisting ability. The simple joint normally provide very minimum moment resistance while the rigid joint provide high degree of moment resistance. The semi-rigid joint it will be intermediate of the two joints. In terms of the setup of the joint, the connections for the simple joint are normally at the web of the beam, which allow the beam to behave as if under a pin conditions. Under such circumstances, the beam is normally allowed for rotations. In the analysis of the structures, the beam here are normally considered as the simply supported beam. As for the rigid joint, there will be restraint at the top and the bottom flank. The connection is normally more heavily reinforced and both flanks are normally heavily restrained against the column so that moment can be effectively transferred to the column. Under load, the beam behaves like a continuous beam and the columns are expected to endure a certain degree of moment. Sometimes, the stiffness may be provided at the column in order to strengthen the resistance of the column. As for the semi-continuous joint, the connections are not as heavily reinforced and the connections are expected to transfer partial of the moment to the column. X response will be somewhere in between the simple joint and rigid joint.